Hey, what's up, everybody? One Peg here. Uh, just finished the evening stream. I uh, have some information for you guys that I wanted to share. I apologize for not having dark mode on uh, on Google Sheets or whatever, but I don't typically use these. Uh, all of this information is being provided to me by the folks over at the Dark and Darker Wiki. I highly suggest going over there and checking it out. Um, there is all of the information in tables and whatnot for your review, uh, and this was provided me uh, directly from the folks over at the Wiki. Uh, I did want to go over this, though, because there are some very uh, important changes to how this uh, meta has shifted. It's going to be very spongy. So for those of you that want the TLDR, there's a very high amount of reduction to the amount of damage modifiers that are capable, uh, plus healing modifiers that are capable on gear, uh, plus armor rating, plus magic resist. Just about everything on the table that you see in front of you has been nerfed. All of these blank spots where it's empty means that those stats do not roll on those slotted items. But this is for random modifiers. I want to be very clear with this. This is for random modifiers. So this is not like the static, like the base stats. For instance, like uh, the, the demon hunter leggings that you can craft using the centaur tail that gives you plus three additional uh, magical healing. Those are not uh, a static. Those are a static stat. They're not a random stat. This has to do with the random rolls that are capable on greens, blues, purples, etc. And the maximum values that are capable of being rolled on them. So it is important to note that when it comes to these stat increases or these stats that are capable of being rolled, it is the same across the board. There are no, like, jumps up in value on these random rolls as you increase in gear quality. These are the max rolls across all of the gear. All right? Okay. Very big takeaway right off of the kick is this. Uh, all attributes is only capable of being rolled on necklaces. That is it. Plus one all on necklaces only. And when I say necklaces only, this is not like the shadow mask, because again, the plus all roll on the shadow mask is a static stat, okay? Remember, we're talking like the green additional text. Another huge takeaway for this is all of these core stats will now only roll, for instance, knowledge. The core stats only roll on the five core pieces of gear. So head, chest, legs, hands, and feet. It doesn't include cloaks, necklaces, and rings. You notice these are blank now with the max total possible of knowledge rolls on gear is 10. Magic damage bonus, magic damage, uh, true magical damage, um, the physical damage bonus, physical damage uh, true, additional physical damage, right? Like all of those damage increase stats. So these are all the same with the exception of the slot that it appears on. So the physical damage rolls for additional physical damage and true physical damage roll on gloves and then the cloak and jewelry. The same thing is true for additional magical damage, except instead of gloves, it rolls on the headpiece. So you can see that this rolls on head one to two, and then rolls on cloaks, necklaces, and rings only with a max total possible of 11. So this is a massive change. There's, a, there's also a lot of nerfing that got done to armor pen, and also a lot of nerfing that got done to the armor mitigation, like damage mitigation rolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this over to this average difference and max difference. So if we look at this max diff, it shows the change percentages across the board for max possible rolls. And then there's an average diff here for like what would be like in the middle. So if we look at like absolute bis meta roll stat allocations on this gear okay the biggest changes are uh physical weapon damage additional and all attributes since this only rolls on necklaces is a 90 percent reduction in the potential to roll any all attribute gear and then on the physical weapon damage additional it's an 88 percent reduction because this can only roll on one-handed and two-handed weapons that's it with a two-point uh, max roll on one-handed and a three-point max roll on two-handed. So this is a 25% reduction. It only rolls to a max of three instead of a max of four now. Big, big, big change. So what this boils down to is barbarians, even though additional armor rating and additional magic, uh, magic resistance are also nerfed about 25-30%, what this boils down to is that barbarians, especially barbarians, uh, clerics, fighters, and bards will be incredibly integral in how these, uh, these comps are going to play out.
specifically the the damage mitigation decreases from from playing the the songs that decrease armor and magic resist those are going to be very very important to these meta comps also um because clerics in full plate fighters in full plate and barbarians in uh, you know full like dress are going to be very uh mitigating in terms of what they can absorb with their damage reduction stuff just from base stats alone this patch is going to be very very spongy the the stat sharing um hasn't been completely sourced out but i'm still sticking to my guns that i believe that you're not going to be able to stack damage modifiers i haven't seen a single item rolled yet like plus regular and plus true i haven't seen any any stats roll double on any of that gear so i believe it's one or the other meaning that your only max rolls for any plus damage gear whether it is physical or um or magic is going to be plus 11 that's it the, the other oh the other one other thing sorry i know that i'm kind of skipping around is magic healing um there was a lot of magic healing that was removed from gear you can see all the minus 100 percents on max rolls with the plus ones not being uh, possible anymore so what we did have is a chest piece will roll up to plus three for a 50 percent increase but the max possible that you can get on gear is plus 13 now which is a 13 percent decrease and it, they also removed the plus one healing away from hands, feet, and cloaks, uh, and legs, so and heads. So you can't get like the plus one diversity that you were getting before anymore. Now, on on the surface, this looks like it's a pretty substantial nerf because there are a couple of points that are less. Right? We have we have thirteen potential. Uh, points of magical healing that are capable of being rolled instead of 15, which is a 13% decrease overall. However, on necklaces and rings, if you notice this minus 100%, uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, stats that no longer roll on jewelry, which is an important distinction because if there's seven less stats to roll on jewelry, that is seven less line items that are competitive for those plus healing rolls on jewelry which means that it should show up on jewelry way more often than it used to that doesn't mean that it's going to be there every time but it could potentially balance out a little bit i don't think it's going to be a lot but it's the it's the same thing with chess pieces there's there's like seven or eight stats that no longer roll on chests for instance so less competition means that you'll see more magic healing on chess pieces whether or not the warlock can wear them is a completely separate co topic of conversation, but it exists. So there's something there. Overall, though, I still look at this as something that is a bit of a nerf because there was an awful lot of magical healing that got taken away from other potential roles on gear. So it, 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 we, I don't really know. Rings tend to run more expensive anyway because they just don't drop as often than like a pair of boots that have like plus healing on them. So who knows? Anyway, back to my original point. This patch, at least on the onset, looks like it's going to be very absorbative. Um, you're going to see barbarians and plate wearers be able to absorb an awful lot of damage, especially uh, in the case of physical damage. Not so much with wizards, but wizards' best bet is going to be to get like a purple or better spellbook, and then you're looking at, uh, honestly, you're looking at getting uh, magical damage stacking on as much gear as you possibly can, which maxes out at plus 11 true damage because i'm still going to stick to the true damage being the best bet uh that is that is pretty low unfortunately um compared to what you were capable of building into which means that the uh the the stacked up barbarians are going to be a lot more survivable than they once were and it probably still allows buff ball comp to be the dominant comp for yet another round of of game testing so um, the fights will last longer. I guess that's the, the bonus. There will be the opportunity for some counterplay. I think it will feel pretty good in the long run for team comp play. It's just a matter of um, kind of figuring it out. That's, uh, that's really everything. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming and checking it out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, let everybody else know in, uh, in socials or whatever. Let the devs know. And uh, I suppose we will see you guys in the next one. Okay? Thanks so much. Peace.